Hey now, it's The Rob from 1061 KISS FM, and I am here to talk about uh, what everyone else is kind of talking about. It is not a surprise to anyone. Last night, Robin Williams supposedly took his own life, but he's no longer with us, and the world is mourning. And I am mourning too, and I'm not usually the kind to get affected by celebrity deaths, but I did want to take a moment and acknowledge some of the amazing contributions that Robin Williams had on my life and in the world of cinema as far as you know movies that have impacted me. So what I'm going to give you today are three movies that uh, Robin Williams starred in that had a deep impact on my life. Three of my favorite roles, I guess you could say. At least my three favorite Robin Williams movies. Number one, I feel like is a no-brainer. But you know what? Everyone's different. And people uh, of different, you know, like I'm, I'm 31 years old. Aladdin came out when I was like 9 or 10. Uh, to me, Aladdin is the go-to. Like Aladdin may be one of my top 20 movies of all time. Uh, let alone animated movies or Disney movies or kids movies. But let me tell you one thing about the movie Aladdin. And a lot of people don't even consider it because, you know, Robin Williams isn't physically in it. He's only in it as a voice. But let me tell you something. The voice of the genie, I mean, you can watch highlight clips on YouTube. You can watch the movie again. I've seen it recently. The vocal performance of Robin Williams in that movie is possibly the greatest voice work of any actor ever. Like, what happens with the genie and the way uh, he does things and the way he talks and his, his voice is remarkable. He does things that most vo vocal actors could not do. And uh, when I found out that most of that stuff was improvised by him and how much craft and time he put into that role, I have a deep respect for what he did there. So uh, I think that that's his number one performance in my book. Uh, number two is more of a sentimental one. This is not a name I've seen tossed around a lot. Uh, but my second favorite Robin Williams movie is a movie called Jack about a boy who uh, I believe ages four times faster than everybody else. So by the time he's 10 years old, he looked 40. And, you know, so on and so forth. And they kind of had his adolescent years, but he looked like, you know, Robin Williams did in the early mid-90s. Uh, that movie, to me, was a big part of my childhood. I remember uh, on sick days, I would stay home from school, and that was the movie I'd watch. And not only would I watch it, I'd watch it over and over and over again. That movie had a warmth that I'll never forget. I haven't seen that movie in decades, probably uh, 18, 19 years, but I remember how that movie made me feel, and that was because of the performance by Robin Williams. And then thirdly, one that you are seeing tossed around, but not quite as much as I would think, uh, 90s kids, we loved Mrs. Doubtfire. And let's be real, that was an amazing performance. Again, you could throw a comedic actor into a comedy movie, and as long as the writing is there, the movie's going to be good and the actor's going to get credit for it. Robin Williams was doing physical kind of comedy, stuff that you know not everybody can do. And uh, somebody else in the role of Mrs. Doubtfire, it just wouldn't have worked the same way. So uh, that was, in my opinion, another shining example of what Robin Williams was capable of. I do appreciate you watching this video. Uh, please subscribe for more of my uh, my random thought videos like this. Uh, just hit the subscribe button right on the uh, YouTube channel there. And of course, I'll be back with more uh, later on in the week. So thank you for watching and uh, so long. Rest in peace. We did love you. Robin Williams.